Okay. This is Pangilang Sunday natin. Uh, number two, we discuss ngayon the believer in Christ. And how many things already we discuss on the believer in Christ? In our series, okay? I don't think na may meron akong babalikan dito so we can, we can move on, okay? So we discuss that in Christ we have redemption. In Christ, we are baptized into His body. In Christ, we have re received the law of the Spirit of life. In Christ, we have the love of God. In Christ, we are part of one body. In Christ, we are sanctified. In Christ, we are made alive. In Christ, we triumph. In Christ, we are made a new creature. In Christ, we, we receive liberty. Okay? In Christ is we become the children of God. Okay, so let's go to the next one. It's Ephesians 1 3. Okay, in Christ. Okay, Ephesians 1 3. Now, this is, uh, itong kasunod po nito is somewhat related, kaya pasadahan po ito, then punta tayo sa kasunod, then connect natin yung dalawa. Okay? I don't think that we could have three, but I believe we could have two. Okay? Two uh, blessings in Christ. Okay? Um, verse number three, Ephesians 1, 3, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us, with all his spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I don't think it's accident also with our Bible reading this morning. Mm. Amen. 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 Hello. Amen. Amen. Blessing be to God and Father. I'm in my outline, children of God then blessed with all his spiritual blessings. Okay? Amen. Um, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. So what we have in Christ, the believer in Christ is we all have the spiritual blessings. We all have the spiritual blessings, pero may lugar, in heavenly places. Okay? We receive all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. So, let me teach you contentment if you truly understand that. Amen. Hello. I could teach you so many things if you truly understand that. But bless us, uh, sometimes by word lang po natin, but we never really uh, embracing the real sense of the verse. Amen. If we, we always complain in this life, we always complain because we don't have money, we don't have wisdom, we don't have money, we don't have money, we don't have We always complain about life. It's maybe we, we don't really, we are not really excited about what the Bible says. God bless us with all spiritual blessings. That's right. Heavenly place in Christ Jesus. Then if you truly understand this and what you have is you can thank God easily. You can thank God right away. You can rejoice in whatever you have if you truly embrace this. Yeah. Let's slow down. Okay? Let's slow down. When you got saved, God has blessed you with all. We're, we're studying um, um, Bible interpretation with a workman's class. But, okay, let's apply the literal interpretation. God has blessed you with all. Amen. With all the spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Thank you, Lord. Now, when you understand that, that our real portion or our real blessing is not in this world, but in heavenly places. Are you listening? You don't complain about you are not rich in this world. Amen. Right. Amen. Don't complain Amen. about if you are not if you are not sikat or if you are not magaling in this world. You don't complain about what's going on in this world. 
but you just move on anyway, and you understand that God puts you in this life with a purpose in worshiping Him and glorifying Him, but one day, you will be with Him. And your mind said this, I'm just a stranger of this world. How should I settle my affection in this world? How should I settle my life in this world? Amen. How should I, why should I be frustrated when I got saved? God did not promise me with better process in this life. God did not promise me with a better life. But in contrary, God promised me of suffering. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I mean, that's literal. That's what God promised us. Not only to believe on Him, but also to suffer. Amen. For His name's sake. It's not, it's not really abundance in this world. Amen. Amen. Kaya, habang nagtatrabaho tayo, we fight, we struggle, kasi hindi madali. That's right. But we do work. Yes, sir. Amen. Habang, habang nag, naghanap tayo ng provision sa ating mga, sometimes we, we feel the agony and the pain na Lord, but wala pa ang hands, right? Of course, that's our earthly emotion. Yeah. Yeah. But at the end of the day, God will remind us and will take us a verse. Oh, Amen! Amen! Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Sorry, God. Amen. Therefore, I cannot complain if God did not bless me with millions Amen. and with thousands in this world. Yes! But I could rejoice on the other hand, but Amen. one thing God promised me, but not in this Amen. life, but with all. Amen. 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 Of spiritual blessings in heavenly places. And God said that what, whether you, ano sabi no? you eat or drink, do all for the glory Amen. of God. And Amen. God says the only qualification for contentment is having food and raiment. There be with contentment. Amen. And Amen. even God has given us more yes. than more than food and raiment. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. God has given more or more than food and raiment. Amen. And if, Amen. If, if, if food and raiment is already enough for us to be contented and to thank God, How why can't that? we not be contented if God has given us beyond That's yeah. right. yeah. food and raiment? Right. We have a house. What well, no promise to Food and raiment. Well, among, uh, um, shelter. Uh, shelter, food, and raiment. Uh, cell phone. <laughs> well, I'm cell phone. Well, I'm shoes. Yeah. yeah. Raiment. Masama. Okay. Wala namang um, sasakyan. Wala namang ano pa? Computers. Wala. Whatever. Walang po. Oh, wala. Walang lito. Wala. Lahat ng karangyahan sa mundo ito. I mean, that's that's it. That's it. Whatever, whatever. You know, if God placed you in this world, the team for you, and at the same time you work, you labor, amen. You labor, pero ano po ang purpose natin na maglabor? It's not para lang maka magkaroon ng malaki in ah ano sa bar ay sa banko sa parko naman para impok sa banko at magkaroon ng madami pong mga madami mga ano no? That's not the goal why we work. We we, the goal why we work is because to provide. Amen. Amen. Kung anong need po natin, anong pangangailangan po natin, necessities, mayroon pa tayong magamit. That's but uh, and we trust God to bless the works of our hand. Amen. Amen. We trust God to bless the work of our hand and whatever God has given us. And as long as nabuhay ka pa atin, God is thankworthy. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. But bakit po ganun ang Christian so down pag wala? Anong, anong nangyayari? Because ang kanyang affection ay ang kanyang expectation God will give him more. Dahil hindi nag-grow, hindi nalututo kung ano sabi ng Biblia. That's right. Kaya, ang, ang, ang prosperity gospel, obvious naman pali yun. Yung sinasabi ng mga pastor na, na sinasabi na, na magbigay ka and God will give you in a uh, blessing that there be not enough room to receive it. Come on. That's my life. Kaya ang naging nangyari, ang mga tao ay naging covetous of the things of this world. Ano nangyari? Na, nadala sila sa ganong deception dahil po iba po ang alam na blessing and in-expect na blessing or, or it could be ignorant, brother Randy, of the things. 
na sinasabi ng Biblia. Pero, listen very carefully, uh, this will di- direct our hearts into a right place. This this blessing is in heavenly places. No wonder people and Christians right now it's not anymore. Um, they they want to to establish in this life. I, I if God will if God will um ano tawo if God purpose that I I don't own a house in this world that's fine. As long as I am. Uh, Okay lang yung pamilya mo, okay lang yung anak ko, may mag-protect ka. If God um, will not allow na uh, mabigyan po ako ng any, ng mga like like luxuries or that's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't change our thoughts. It doesn't change. Amen. Kung ganun na lang, na lang ako magpasto. That's good. Amen. Mayroon kaya, di, di ako makapagtrabaho ng maayos. Hindi na niyo ba? Kasi, I cannot have an 8-hour job na makapag-sustain sa aking family. Sometimes, I, I, I commune with God and I reason with God na I can I can work an 8 hour and, and with Anna. But, of course, the Holy Ghost will remind us of course, seeing them na, we will talk about that husband as part of the provider. Seeing them na, ganito, hindi naman, although, na, naturuan yung family mo makontento, pero of course, you have also another, uh, yung parang desire para sa kanila. Wish my, my son also could have this, or wish my I could buy my wife this and that. Eh, hindi yun ang course po sa buhay natin. Hindi, that's Amen. not what we're running up. That's right. Eh, kung, kung ganun na lang ang pagbubuhay sa mundo ito, that, that's, that's very, that's all pursue unto yung kayamat ka na yun. Change the doctrine. Let's change, change our doctrine, that's right. <laughs> There are people who, who use the ministry to gain. And then, uh, if I'm going to think about that, then, mamamatay na lang na po sa consumption. Amen? So, kalimutan niyo na sila. But what I'm saying is, if we truly understand that what we have is not in this life. Amen. But what we really have is up there in heaven and in glory. Then I will understand my state. And never complain to God. But on the other hand, will come up to contentment and thanks to you. Amen. Amen. You could, early in the morning, everybody will be saying about, about how great thou art. How great thou art. Then soothes my soul, my Savior. Pero ang nagpapasaya na lang sa atin is those Amen. songs reminding us how great our Lord is. Amen! Sabi ng mga mga tao, paano mo nasasabi na great ang iyong Panginoon na mahirap ka, na, mahirap ka pa sa daga? Buti pa ang daga ay may cheese. Ikaw, wala! Kayo, asin! Ano, mahirap ka pa sa daga? Amen. Sabi ko ng song, no? I have a good inheritance. Amen. I'm blessed with things you can see. Amen. This is my goodly heritage. That's Amen. right. That's right. The Lord is our portion, brother. Amen. I'm blessed with things you can see. They don't understand that. Glory. Now, now I'm, 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 we could teach. I could teach you a great deal of, by God's grace, 
deal of doctrines and least of all the spiritual blessings in heavenly places. That's not the point. Let's not lose the point. What we're saying here, you can know those spiritual blessings in heavenly places, yet your heart still be in this world. Right. right. Well, how about pause for a while, meditate on the Word of God, Amen. and re-evaluate yourself or assess yourself, where is your heart? Amen. Where, is, where have been your affection going on? And am I truly believing this verse? Am I truly embracing this verse? Why I still seek after or run after? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not teaching you not to work. I'm not teaching you not to, to have a job or to quit your job. I'm simply saying is even in these little things, we could be contented yes, and we could thank God and it could take away our murmurings, it could take away our just understanding these things. Yeah. It could take away our complaints and our rebellions toward God, but That's we true. live in a life with abounding in thanksgiving, abounding in praising God Amen. because of these things. Amen? Amen. Amen. Having a child... Though they're not, uh, they don't mark or carve or make history in this world. They may be unknown, having children, but yet saved. That's worth it. Being a father. Amen. 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 Raising them, training them in the way of the Lord. That's worth being a father. And it, that's already our our consolation in this world. Yes, sir. Because we truly because we truly understand that we look up, not down. Amen. Yeah. Let's 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 try to observe that. Meditation in the word. All the spiritual blessings in heavenly place. Hello. Because when you when you start to understand that, you will not you will lose your hope in this world. But you start to lay down your hope up there in glory. If you look at Colossians chapter number 1, Colossians chapter number 1, verse number 5. The Bible says in verse number 5, verse 4, Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, faith in Christ Jesus, and of love, and of the love which ye have to all the saints, for the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, whereof ye heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel. Saan po nakalaid ang mga ating hope? Up there. Right? Amen. 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 So, why hope sa gobyerno? Why hope sa trabaho? Why hope sa Look at Second Peter chapter number, Second Peter chapter number one, in verse number, verse number two. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord, according to His divine power, hath given unto us all things. Amen. Kaya ano yung old things na yan? That pertain unto life and godliness. Amen. Through the knowledge of Him that had called us to glory. Amen. And virtue whereby are given unto us exceeding and great precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And it, it, how, how could you not rejoice in those things? If God has given you all things, and He has blessed you with all things, well, and these old things is um, spiritual blessings or that pertain unto life and godliness. How could we not rejoice? We are, we are in the business kung saan we are praying and hoping that, that we, could, we could get something from our clients. Okay? But if we can receive a little of commission and we rejoice on that, because God provided. How can we not rejoice when God has given us all? Amen. 
Habang na, may tumor. Natuwa ka kasi nakakuha ka ng komisyon na 500 per person. Tapos dalawang tao lang, so may 1,000 ka for a week. May pambili ng sirila. Amen? Amen. Malulungkot pa tayo dito. Okay. Ito yung anong kulang ko na. Let's redirect our heart to what is a blessing. To what is a real, genuine blessing. Okay? So, we have to understand and bless also in the other end with all spiritual blessings. Ano po yung spiritual blessings po na yan? Ang dami po mga kapatid nasa Chapter number 1 in Ephesians. Now, pansinin mo in verse number 1. Look at, look at verse number 4. Chosen us. You are chosen. That's a blessing. Amen? In verse 5, you are predestinated and adopted as children of God. Hello? In verse number 6, you are accepted. In verse number 7, you receive redemption. Amen? In verse number 8, you receive about all wisdom and prudence. Nung ikaw po ay naligtas, these are spiritual blessings. Hello? When you got saved, you received, uh, you, you made, uh, God made you know the mystery of His will. Amen? Yung purpose niya na natutunan mo. Nung ikaw po ay naligtas, nakatanggap ka po ng inheritance. Amen? Because that is, Bumalik po yan, who first trusted in Christ. So you receive these blessings when you trusted in Christ. Ano pa? Nakatanggap ka ng earnest of the inheritance. Ano po yun sa verse number 13? Yung Holy Spirit of promise. You Amen. are saved and you believe and you receive that Holy Spirit of promise. Glory to God. Hello? And nakita niyo po na nakatanggap ka po ng spirit of wisdom and revelation of the knowledge of Him. And you receive the hope of His calling in His inheritance. Amen. At ano pa, nagiging part ka sa verse 23, which is His body, the fullness of Him that filled all in all. Naging part ka na ng Kanyang katawan. Amen. When, na lahat po ng ito, which He wrote in Christ with God when He raised from the dead and set Him at His own right hand in the heavenly places. Ano pa, in verse number Chapter 2, verse number 1, you are quickened. Yes, Amen. Amen. You were dead before in times past, but you were quickened. Ano pa, verse number 4, God has given you that great love wherewith He loved us. He showed mercy, and that's a blessing. Amen. Amen. Sometimes we have to redefine uh, the term blessing. Amen. Kasi ang blessing po natin, ang mentality ng blessing natin, nasa Malakay 3, kaya ba rin? That God will pour you out a blessing and there be not enough room to receive it. And that's for the nation of Israel because their blessing is flat and lands and fruit of the lands. Let's redefine. Now, if we redefine this blessing, ang, ang una, kung ang una ng definition natin as, uh, as safe person ng blessing ay spiritual. Kahit ano pang list na material thing, you will, you will learn to appreciate it. Yeah. The good thing kasi, pangit kasi yung from carnal to material. Dapat from spiritual to material ang thanksgiving. You thank God, then to ano. Pag nakikita mo yung spiritual things, mas lalo mo makikita yung mga visible things. Pag napapasalamatan mo yung spiritual things, mas lalo mo mapasasalamatan yung carnal things na nakita. Why? Because you need an eyes that is enlightened to see the spiritual blessing. Itong, itong ano, obvious na yan eh. Binigyan ka ng ganito, may, binigyan ka ng maayos na tulugan, binigyan ka ng maayos na bahay, binigyan ka. Obvious na yan eh. Nakikita natural na yan eh. But if you can see those, what, what people did not see, but if you could start to thank God of those spiritual blessings, You don't have problem on thanking God for the physical blessing. Amen. That is the when you start to appreciate how God saved you, you start to appreciate the early mercies God provide every morning. You will start to appreciate the food in the table. Amen. You will start to appreciate the air that we breathe. Amen. We start Amen. to appreciate the 
Dahil yung mga piso-piso at saka yung mga pambili po natin. We start to appreciate yung what we have. Amen. Kaya ang ating thanksgiving is so ano po, commercialized because we only thank God for the obvious. These are obvious things. But there are things that are unseen. And yet, they exist in your life. Amen. Yet, they are true in your life. But when you start to realize and start to thank God for those things, your life will abound in thanksgiving. Amen. You will start to thank God for your wife. You will start to thank God for your husband. You will start to thank God for your children. You start to thank God for that day he has, he has given you the privilege again to worship Him and to serve Him in this life. You start to thank God even in little details because you acknowledge it all comes from Him. Saan po nag-uumpisa po yun? Thanking God for all spiritual blessings. Amen. Kasi hindi na natin ito nakita na blessing na, na, na quicken ka. Is that still a blessing to you? Amen. Amen. Naging part ka ng body of Christ. Is that still a blessing to you? Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Ala, delikado. Tingnan mo sa Colossians chapter number 3. Balikan natin yung Ephesians 1. Colossians 3. Tingnan mo sa Colossians 3. Look at verse number... Uh-huh. Verse number... Are you there? Amen. Colossians chapter number 3, verse number 15. And let the peace of God rule in your heart, to which also ye are called in one body. Ano next? Are you in one body? Ano next? Salamat ka. Part ka ng katawan na yun. Blessing po ba sa iyo yun? Pagkaparte ka na alam. Are you still thanking God? Thank you, Lord, for putting me in your body. Amen. Lord, for making me your bone and your flesh. Hello? Ay, salamat, Lord, dahil nakakomisyon ko na. I'm not saying that, 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 that you don't thank those things. But I'm saying is, have you seen these truths? And have take time to thank God for this truth. How about, thank you Lord for the redemption that I have in Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Thank you Lord that I received baptism and God, you put me in your body. Thank you Lord for the law of the spirit of life. Thank you Lord for the love of God. Thank you Lord for the sanctification and all the rest of these things. You, do you still view this as blessing? Or ang blessing na lang sa'yo pag may paycheck. Ang blessing na lang sa'yo pag pag may nagbigay sa'yo ng mga mat... Ano pa? Pag may bago kang cellphone, may bago kang laptop, I thank God for my blessing. Ano yun? For, uh, uh, God has given me a new laptop. Now, I will question your... Ma- I, I will put a question mark in you if you can thank God for your laptop and you can even thank God for God putting you in His body. That's good preaching. What I'm saying is, Kalina, let's redefine what is blessing. And let's reassess. Hello. Amen. Reevaluate our thoughts. Kaya pala ang hirap ng Thanksgiving. Kasi ang sobra nang binigay ng Panginoon sa atin, kaunti lang ang ating na-acknowledge na blessing. Kasi we, we talk of blessing pag pera, blessing yan. Amen. Pag, pag, pagkain, blessing yan. Hindi ko lang sinabi hindi. Pero ang, what, my point is, ang alam lang natin na blessing, yung obvious, yung mga nakikita yes tangible. Kaya, ako, kita pa natin to. I hope we still have eyes. Hello? To see point. these things. Pambila, dati ka, you are dead in trespasses, trespasses Amen. and sins, and yet God quickened you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. That's a blessing. Amen. Amen. 
Then, that is, that become children of disobedience, that become children of wrath. Verse 4, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us. You know the name that he loved us? Amen. Amen. He loved us, the Lord. Amen. Sometimes, kaya nga sinasabi ko sa inyo, if, if going to church, is my sahod kayo in going to church. Wow. Why? I, I make, what if magbibigay ako ng sahod allowance sa bawat isa po dito? Okay? So we're averaging 50 to pataas every Sunday. I wonder if, I, I, I will give, I will give allowances like for example, at least, sige, huwag na masyadong malaki. 5,000 per week, per Sunday. <laughs> Plus 100 pag may Thanksgiving. <laughs> Plus 1,000 pag may Thanksgiving. <laughs> now, now, that may be, that may be, you know, that may be, um, hindi realistic. Pero what if it's true? Yeah. I doubt it kung may mamis, mag-miss, may isang sandbo. 10,000 pag Thursday. Bakit? Ang pag-blessing, ang isip natin yun eh. Yes, sir. Bakit? Could, could you not bring yourself to church just knowing that He loved you? Could not that truth will not bring you to church that knowing that He quickened you? But what can bring you to church if I, we will provide allowances and bonuses for those who will have ex- extra services? Amen. I think we have to again re-evaluate and re What are those meaningful things in your life? What are those things that are valuable in your life? What are those things that you can't give up in your life? What are those treasures in your life? I hope you will see this. He loved us with great love. Ano pa? Verse number 5. By grace, we are saved. Amen. Blessed pa ba sa iyo Verse 5. Even we were, uh, verse 6. And raised us up together and made us sit together in heaven. Amen. In Christ Jesus. Blessed pa ba sa iyo? Hello. Verse 10. You are created in Christ. Jesus. Blessing for Baseo, verse number 8. For by grace are you saved through faith and that not of yourself is the gift of God. Amen. Blessing for Baseo, you know, that is Gentile, that is without Christ, God. Amen. Yet, but now in Christ, we sometimes a part of our late night with the blood of Christ. Does it make you excited more than giving you something or anything, na, na tangible things? Does it still excite you? Does it still stir up your heart and serve the Lord God and worship Him and thank Him? Ano kayo magkapag stir up sa ating puso? Ano ka na? Let's redefine. Let's remember who we are. Isn't it a blessing that He, hindi ba blessing to, spiritual blessing to, that He broken down the middle wall of partition so that we can also partake what Israel could partake? So that also we could worship God because there's a middle wall of partition. God take that away so that we could also direct to God. That is Gentile style. We're not called, we're not worshippers. But we are aliens. We are strangers. We are enemies. Never a worshipper. Now we got saved. God has broken down that middle wall of partition and abolished in, in His flesh the enmity. Blessing po ba sa inyo na that He make in Himself of twain one human 
Blessing pa ba sa inyo yan? And that He might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross? Now you can read on chapter 1, chapter 2, chapter 3. Find that truth. And that started in verse number 3. Blessed be the God and of the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all His spiritual blessings in heaven. Thanks. Pag magbasa ka ng Bible ma, kakanta ka na? Kakanta ka about these things? I have a home beyond the river. I have a man should bright and fair. Pero ang mindset, I have a home beyond the river. That will redirect our heart. That will redirect our thoughts. Why? When you start to understand these things, you start you will rejoice, you will be happy. Kung tuyo, okay, given tuyo, tuyo lang ang aking ulam. Or, ano ba yung ulam na? Kasi, ang pinakamura ito, mahal na nga ito. Okay, given, meron kang mga ganun ka na. Or pandisal kasi mas mura ng bote. Breakfast. Pag malungkot ka dahil yun na lang ang pambili nyo, pandisal na lang, therefore, na-shift na ang iyong mind kung ano ang tunay na blessing. But, hindi ka nalungkot, masaya ka pa rin because naintindihan mo at ang tunay naman na blessing ko is binigay sa akin ng Panginoon ako yung bigas. In other words, you can worship God without those things. Amen. You could still bless God without those things. And serve God without those things. And much more, also, we will be contented about those things. So, so ito pong mas spiritual blessings po na ito. As a, look at 2 Timothy chapter number 4. 2 Timothy chapter number 4. Sabi po, ni, sabi po ni Paul dito, The Lord shall deliver me from if every evil work will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom to whom be glory forever and ever. So there is that heavenly kingdom and that is our place. Kanina, our hope which is laid up in heaven and that is our heavenly kingdom. Bakit po mga kapatid? We are already transported in that place then start to see those things. Can, can you see those spiritual blessings in heavenly places? Be a challenge. Could you see those things? No unsaved ko ba, hindi mo makikita yung mga bagay na yan. Now, bakit ko makikita, o oh, bakit kaya ko nang makita yung mga heavenly blessings at saka yung mga spiritual blessings? Because in Colossians 1.13, okay, God translated me into the kingdom of His dear Son. You are already there. Now, in Ephesians 2.6, ano sabi sa Ephesians 2.6? And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Not just you are translated there, you already sit there. That's why you can see. Yeah. Meron ka ng spiritual eyes, meron ka ng spiritual representation that you could acknowledge that you can see this spiritual blessing. But in our flesh will not. This this will this will all only desire carnal things. Never for the spiritual thing. But God has ano ginawa ng Panginoon? Look at verse number 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Pinuksan ang iyong understanding. Ano purpose? That ye may know what is the hope of His calling, what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints. So you can see that. Not only God transported you or translated you in that place, God made you sit in that place. But Philippians chapter number 2 at uh, chapter number 3, verse number 20, your conversation Amen. is Amen. in that place. Hey. In 
Hindi naman sinabi, for our conversation is heavenly. But our for our conversation, verse 20, is in heaven. So saan yung citizenship po natin? Saan tayo namumuhan? Saan tayo nag-exist? That's why you can say this is spiritual blessings in heavenly places. God has all enlightened our eyes that we may know what is the hope Amen. Amen. of His calling. And what the riches is spiritual blessing. Riches of His inheritance in the same. Now, in the other proposition, in the other hand, if you can thank God with those things, pack up blind ka ba? Bakit? Kung save ka, part ng blessing na enlighten ka. Bakit? Ano bang meron tayo as a Gentile? Look at, look at Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4. Look at verse number 18. Verse 17. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. They have blindness. Hello? Look at ano, 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. Bakit ko sila nakatanggap po ng blindness? Look at verse number 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. No unbeliever pa tayo, we have a blind heart. No unbeliever pa tayo, we have a blind mind. We cannot see these things. Ano pa? Ano pa kasabi po dito? Romans chapter number 1. Our foolish heart was darkened. Kaya wala tayong spiritual eyes to see those things. But nung tayo po ay nasa-say, Ephesians 1.8, Your eyes being what? Enlightened. Therefore, you can know and you can see these things. Bakit? No may reason? Dahil you are translated. Because God made you sit together in that place. Number three, because your conversation is in heaven. From whence we look. From whence we look. For our sake. Nakaupo ka na. Alam nyo. Yung teaching na rin dali. Nakaupo ka doon. At nakatingin ka. Ang affection mo lahat. Where we rise. Peter. <laughs> Amen. I shall know. And good luck. Um, that is your spiritual representation. While you are represented in this earth, you have also a spiritual representation. Could you explain that, sir? I cannot. It's just I am transported or translated. It's just the Bible says, I made me sit together in heavenly place. Can you explain? I cannot. I don't know. Amen. Just believe in the Bible. My mind is too limited to explain those things. But it all happened when we are in Christ. So in other words, we can see this spiritual blessing. Because God enlightened our eyes. Ano pang ginawa ng Diyos? We could understand these things. We could see these things. Look at Colossians chapter number 1. Verse number 9. For since, for this cause, we also since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of God of His will in all wisdom and His spiritual understanding. Kung save ka, mayroon kang capability na magkaroon ng what? His spiritual understanding. Bakit hindi natin ito nakita? Bakit hindi natin napasalamatan ito nung tayo yung unsaved? Eh, hindi natin nakikita eh. Ang napasalaman natin ay, yes, sarap ng ulap. Yes, ang ganda ng bahay. Yes, sarap ng aircon. Yes, sarap ng Aganda ng palabas. Yes. Lahat na lang na puro ano. Uy, may kasalubong sa dito. So, lahat na lang nakita. Wala tayong pakialam sa mga spiritual thing. But, now, ito yung, ito yung dilemma. 
Ang dilemma is, ganito. The dilemma is this. Ngayon, enlightened na ang iyong mata, kunyari, ligtas ka. Bakit ganun pa rin ang naging ginahagan na biyaya? So, bakit yan pa rin ang napapasalamatan natin? Something to think about. Okay. Now, let's connect to another thing is Ephesians 1.11. Okay. So, in Christ you receive all the spiritual blessings, blessed with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. In Christ, this is connected, no? In Christ, verse number 11. In whom also, in whom, that means in Christ, okay? In whom also we have obtained an inheritance being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worked all things after the counsel of his own will. In whom also we have received an inheritance. In Christ, we receive or we obtain an inheritance. Yeah. In Christ, we, we obtain an inheritance. Now, kanina, prepare po tayo sa heavenly, uh, spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Now, itong inheritance naman po na ito is not also in this world. That's also in heavenly places. Look at Second Peter chapter number, um, chapter number 1. Uh, not Second Peter, but First Peter chapter number 1. In, in verse number 4, uh, start with reading with verse number 3. The Bible says, Blessed, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to His abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance, okay? an inheritance, incorruptible, undefiled, that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. Amen. Hello. But we Amen. have that inheritance reserved in heaven, but we also have a partial down payment of that inheritance. That's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Going back, Ephesians chapter number 1. We receive an inheritance. Okay? Ephesians chapter number 1. Kung walang kamana yung mga earthly dads natin, earthly fathers natin, glory to God, our heavenly Father, ay meron po tayong inheritance. Amen? Amen. Now watch. Amen. In verse number four, 14, which is the earnest of our inheritance. Amen. After we receive, we obtain an inheritance. At ang inheritance po nito, yung fullness of blessing, or yung fullness ng inheritance po natin, saan lugar? Not in this world, but where? In heavenly places. But, glory to God, pinatikim man tayo ng Diyos. Amen. Portion, down payment, or foretaste ng ating inheritance. That is the Holy Ghost. Verse 13, In whom also you trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Sino yung Holy Spirit of promise then? Which is the earth Amen. of our inheritance. But listen Woo! very carefully, hindi pa kumpleto yun, until the redemption of purchase possession unto the praise of His glory. God has given us a down payment. Patunay na totoo ang kanyang inheritance at here the Holy Ghost. The seal of the Holy Ghost testify and validate that God has given us this heavenly inheritance. Thank you, Lord. We have the Holy Ghost in you. Glory to God. Thank Christ God for the service. Yeah. Yeah. And that is the manifestation. That is the evidence, the validation, the down payment, the guarantee, the token that you will have all. Patunay, kumbaga, that spiritual blessing for inheritance. Heavenly. Now the word inheritance there in chapter number 1 is mentioned three times. Verse 11, in whom we have obtained an inheritance. In verse number 14, I, that, that inheritance, a portion of that inheritance is already given unto us in this earthen vessel. And that is the Holy Ghost in verse 14. Now, in also in verse number 18, God has given you the eyes of, your under, uh, of our understanding na may enlightened so that we could see and we could know the inheritance in the saints. Okay? And what is the exceeding greatness of His power to us who are who believe, according to the working of His mighty power which He wrought in Christ, when He raised Him from the dead, set Him in His own right hand, anong lugar? In the heavenly place. You see, ang ganda, no? Pinatunayan ng Panginoon para 
mapatinatunayan in that chapter na ka-obtain tayo ng inheritance. Pinatunayan niya, listen very carefully, by what? Two things. Paano niya pinatunayan in two things na ka-obtain tayo ng inheritance? Pinatunayan niya by the person of the Holy Ghost in us. Because that's the earnest of His inheritance. Secondly, God has opened your eyes. The, your eyes of your understanding is Amen. being enlightened so that ye may know. Amen. So two things. God has given you the down payment. And number two, God has opened the eyes Amen. of your understanding. Amen. Uh, why can't you not uh, see the heavenly blessing? Baka hindi pa bukas. Baka wala pang earnest of the inheritance nagsasabi sa iyo. Come on. Be saved. Hello? Salvation siguro ang pulang? Please. Now, again, assess. What are those things you always thank God for? Or not necessarily thank God or thanking God. Ito na lang. What are those things that are you are always thank But one thing for sure, every day you thank God for the food. Siguro naman, if you pray kayo bago kumain, di ba? Tama? But how often do you thank God for the food? And how often do you thank God for His salvation? Amen. Amen. How often do you thank God for the food versus how often do you thank God for His love and mercy and grace? Good question. You thank God for the food for sure, three times a day. Hindi pa kasama ang snacks doon. May, may snacks pa kayo sa, sa hapon, may midnight snacks pa kayo sa gabi, hindi ma- so at least, para kang Muslim, five times, and be pray. Now, can, could you thank God five times a day for your salvation? No, oh man. Have you thanked God five times a day for the mercy, love, and grace provided to you today? These are assessment. These are evaluation of if your heart has already been redirected to something else. If you really have, if you really see, or if you really have the eyes of your understanding na makita itong mga kutsunan. We obtain an inheritance. Okay? Look at Look at uh, Colossians chapter number 1. Colossians chapter number 1. Dahil nakatanggap tayo ng inheritance, verse 12, giving thanks unto the Father. Magpapasalamat. Amen. Which had made us need to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in life. Now, giving thanks of the Father. Now, I want you to, to ano po? slow down that. Which had made us need. Nakita niyo po lang? Meet to, to be, be partakers because before we're not. Amen. Thank you, Lord. You see this? Before we're not. Alam mo kung saan lang pina magkakasalamat ka sa pagkain sa Bible? Nagpipray lang sa pagkain sa Bible? Matthew 6. Give us this day our daily bread. Yet we thank God for our food every day because it is just right. Tama. Right. It is right. Tama. But is it also right to thank God for, for giving you an inheritance? That is a direct charge that you, you have to give thanks unto the Father which has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance Amen. of the saints Amen. in life. And that blessing is delivered us from the power of darkness has translated us into the kingdom of His dear Son, in whom we have redemption through His blood, even the forgiveness of sins. That's a direct charge that you have to thank God for the inheritance that you inherit. Why can't you thank God? Maybe you can't see it. 
Maybe you are still blind. Sana po nakita natin na with God na mapasalamatan po natin ang Panginoon palagi. Kung wala nga tayong charge na pasalamatan bawat kakain, the, 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 we get the principle that in everything it takes. That's why we pray for the food. Amen. But there is also a direct charge na huwag mong kalimutan pati yung inheritance of the saints. Kasi bakit mo pwede na pasalamatan ang inheritance of the saints? Connect mo yan. Connect mo yan sa Ephesians 1.18. Na open na yung eyes of your understanding that you may know. Alam mo na yun eh, kung ano yung inheritance of what is the hope of your calling and what is the riches of, can you imagine? Ha? Ano ang scope ng inheritance ng saints? Riches of the inheritance of the saints. Sobrang dami. Eh, ang pinasa natin kanina, napasalamat ka ba na weekend ka? Napasalamat ka ba na raise up ka? Sit, may sit together? Napasalamat ka ba na ikaparte ka pa sa body of Christ? Kaya, isn't very carefully, the more we know these things, the more we can thank God for these things. But if we are ignorant with these things, we are blinded and we can thank God for these things that really matters in this life. So we have to remind ourselves. Amen. We have those things. We obtain an inheritance. You can go also in Acts 26 that tayo mga Gentiles, wala po tayong inheritance, and yet God provided us an inheritance. Look at chapter 26. Verse number 18, to open their eyes. Glory to God, amen. To open their eyes and to turn them from darkness to light. Isn't it connected to us, ano? And from the power of Satan unto God, that they might receive forgiveness of sins, ano ba? And inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Faith in Christ. Faith that is in me, sabi ni Cristo. So, ano natanggap niya? Nung nagkaroon, naligtas po siya, na in Christ po sila, nakatanggap siya ng forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified. So, inheritance. Giving thanks unto God who had made us great to, part- to be partaker. That's a direct charge. So, we have to see that because in Christ, we, re- we obtain we <coughs> inheritance. Okay? So, yun, yun po yung tinatawag po na real treasure. First Timothy chapter number 6. Yun po yung tunay na treasure. Hello? Kasi po meron pong ano po dito, riches in this world, but they are called as what? First Timothy 6, 17. Look at verse number 17. Charge them that are rich in this world, that they be not high-minded, nor trust in what? Uncertain riches, but in the living God who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Ano po yun? These are uncertain riches. Pero ano yung mga true riches? Sabi ng Matthew chapter number 6, look at Matthew 6, 21. Itong mga inheritance po na ito, ito po yung mga riches po natin. 6, 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. For where your treasure is, there will be your heart, will your heart be also. So where's your heart? Then you new treasure. What are you so fond of? Then that there's your treasure. What are you so excited of? Then there's your treasure. Amen. What are those things that you can't give up that bears your treasure? 45. Look at, uh, let me read this, Luke 6, 45. A good man out of a good treasure of his heart, bring it forth that which is good. And an evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart, bring it forth that which is evil. For the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Remember, treasure of his heart. Kung ano yung palagi mong sinasabi, that's the treasure of his, your heart. Kung anong bukang bibig mo, that's the treasure of your heart. Kaya sabi ng Bible, for the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. Ano yung man? A good man out of good treasure of his heart, then connected to, for out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. So what is that treasure in your heart? For where your heart also, remember, uh, where your treasure is, where your treasure is, there your heart may be also. Kung ano yung nasa puso din, yun yung treasure. At kung ano yung nasa puso, yun din palagi mo sinasabi. 
Anong bukang bibig mo palagi? Anong palagi mong pinasasalamatan? Anong palagi mong mini-mention? There is your treasure. Are you listening? There's your treasure. But could it be you're always talking about uncertain riches? Not really the riches na binigay po sa atin ng Panginoon? Colossians chapter number, look at Colossians chapter number 2. Anong treasure natin? I hope hindi yung un- uncertain riches. Colossians chapter number 2, look at verse number 2 and 3. The Bible says that their hearts, again, look at the, how the word treasure and heart is connected together. Kita niyo po, for three verses, you know? For their heart might be comforted, being knit together in love, and to all the riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, of the Father, and of Christ, in whom are hid all the treasures Amen. of wisdom Amen. and knowledge. That's the true treasure. That's why you can thank God. And you know, yung acknowledgement of the mystery and of the Father, of God and of the Father, and of Christ in whom are hid all treasure. Lahat ng treasure na yun, in Christ, no? O in whom are hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Okay? So, ano pong, ano pong pagkasabi pa dyan? Look at, look at 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. 2 Corinthians chapter number 4. We have this treasure. In this earthen vessel. Why? Nasa atin po, nasa katawan po na ito. I hope that's in our heart. Verse 7, But we have this treasure in the earthen vessel, that the excellency of the power may be of God, and not of us. Okay? Kung papansinin mo dyan, you can also see the word heart. Okay? Look at Ephesians 3.8. Okay, Ephesians 3.8. How hope we see this treasure. Yeah. And these are the unsearchable what? Riches of Christ. Sabi ni Paul po dito, in, uh, many times na po natin itong pinipreach, no? And to me, whom less than the least of all saints, this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles, the unsearchable Riches of Christ. Kaya dapat mabuksan mo na ang iyong understanding para makita itong unsearchable riches of Christ. A carnal eyes cannot see those unsearchable riches. Look at chapter number 3. Look at verse number 16. Verse number 16. That He would grant you according to the riches of His glory to be strengthened with might by His Spirit in the inner man. That He would grant you according to the riches of of His glory. Now you can find so many way, uh, so many areas there. According to the riches of His grace. Ito, the riches of His glory. So His glory has riches. His grace has riches. The riches of His inheritance. In verse chapter number 1, verse number 18. Look at chapter number 1, verse number 18. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of His calling. And what? What? The riches of the glory of His inheritance. In the same. So this inheritance has riches. Okay? Now, Colossians chapter number 1, verse number 27. Colossians 1, verse number 27. Ano sabi ko ng Bible? It to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles which is in you, uh, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. So having Christ in our in our heart or the indwelling Christ in, in our life is already rich. Now, ano po ang charge sa atin knowing these things? Dalawa lang po. If you are, sige, i, i ano po natin, have a pause po natin. Colossians 3, tingnan niyo po. Tingnan yung word up. If ye then be risen with Christ. Be risen with Christ. So that means say, If ye then be risen with Christ. Therefore you are not dead, but you are saved. 
Therefore, pag save ka, anong nangyari? Na-open na yung eyes of your understanding. Enlightened. Charge. Seek those things which are above where Christ seated on the right hand. Claro po yung lugar, no? Which are above where Christ seated. That is where? In the heavenly place. Saan siya nakaupo? Ephesians 2.6 made us sit together in the heavenly places. In Christ Jesus. So saan, yung, saan ang blessing natin? God had blessed us with all His spiritual blessings. Where? In the heavenly places. Are you seeing this? Yes. My connection ba? Yes. Then anong next? Seek those things. So, paano mo mahahanap yun? Saan mo mahahanap yun? Biblia. Are you seeking those things? Kaya, ang iba hindi nakapagpasalamat dahil hindi pa nahanap kasi puna bulag pa. Now, pag hindi ka na bulag, open na yung understanding. Anong charge? Seek those things which are above where Christ is at on the right hand. Next, once nahanap mo yun, once nahanap mo na yung mga bagay na yun, anong next na gagawin? Set your affection. Thanks. So nakita mo na ang bira na nagpapasalamat ka na nakita mo sa Biblia na I am blessed with all spiritual blessings in every place. Bibigyan ka ng isa, you are accepted Amen. in the beloved. Amen. Accepted Amen. in the beloved. Then your affection will start to sink in the You will embrace it. You will love the truth. You will appreciate the truth. Amen. You will thank God for the truth that is set in your affection. Bakit? Bakit ka unting sabag? Kasi yung mga bagay na yun, those are spiritual blessings in heavenly things. Then you put your heart on it. Then you start to hide it in your heart. Kasi once in your heart, there is your treasure. Amen. Then out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth. Listen very carefully. Dahil po, ito pong sick and saka sin. Many times po na preach. Hindi po makaset dahil walang nasisik. Intindihan niyo po? Hindi ka makaset sa yung affection dahil hindi mo nahanap. Kaya ang affection pa rin natin, hindi pa rin nagbabago, nakaset pa rin hindi sa mga heavenly things. Nakaset pa rin sa mga carnal things because hindi natin nahanap. Pangalawa, kung given na pinakita na sa ng Panginoon, ah, wala alam ka talagang gana. Amen. Ayaw mo na talaga. So in other words, if we are seeking this morning this spiritual blessings, therefore, you have to set your affection on those things. Amen. If I showed you in the Bible that, that meron tayong inheritance and there's riches in the inheritance, then yun dapat ang pinaporsyo na din. Yun dapat ang ating hinahabol. So if there is these things na ating hinahabol, or we live for and seeking until we die, until God will get us to glory, these are those things, those things that are in heavenly places where Christ. Then, not only sing, but put your heart on it. Put your affection on those things. Forget about the affections of the flesh, the lust of the flesh, but put your affection on those things. Yeah. Yeah. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Pag ganito ang binigay ng Panginoon, praise God. Amen. Ang binigay ng Panginoon, That's wrong. it doesn't matter. Because ang affection mo, nandun na sa taas eh. It says spiritual blessing yeah. in heaven. I hope you learn from God. We received two things. Isa na yun? In Christ, in number one, bless with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places and obtain an inheritance.